Every time I see the tower, you just think, God, what if? What if somebody else would have been a little bit more innovative? Or what if the board would have thought, let's think a little bit farther out? Everyone worked for Kodak. Or their father did, or their mother had, or their uncle did, or their older brother did. And so when Kodak started to show signs of faltering, parents didn't know how they were gonna survive. And that must have just been a stab in the heart because it was really the end of an era. You know, there are some mixed emotions. Um, we took down 40 buildings uh, and about 6 million square feet of space. My 34 years, I worked in a lot of these buildings. You know, I gotta be honest, it was a little bit tough to see some of that going down. When you go to Eastman Business Park, it used to be called Kodak Park. You're standing in a place that once had tens of thousands of employees working there. Now it has fewer, more diversified, um, but still an exci exciting place. We still have over 6,500 people. The difference is three quarters of those people are non-Kodak workers today. All around us are other companies, not Kodak. What used to happen in this facility where we're now making sauce and salsa Kodak used to make camera bodies. Initially it was a little eerie and now it's just normal. My last five years at Kodak, I used to manage the decline. I used to manage the decline, sell buildings, cut costs. It was depressing. It's just a shadow of its former self. What it is today is very different. Obviously Kodak is a pretty interesting company. And it was a brand that was very warm, very, very personal because these were your memories they were capturing. Part of me says, you know, we need to carry on that legacy. And the next generation of products we make, they will have Eastman technology in there. We have 7,000 patents. We make our own inks, we make our own toners. We also make the fastest commercial printing inkjet machines in the world. We're using film and putting silver halide in a grid on it. We then print touch sensors, putting glue on a piece of construction paper and sprinkling uh, sparklies on top. is very similar to what goes on here. The glue is our ink. The sparklies in this part of the process is the metal. It's a little bit more high-tech than that, but fundamentally that's what goes on. Ectocolor paper, coat of color film, vision motion picture film. They're iconic products, but they've lived their life cycle. This is now the next generation of great Kodak products. Part of me would love, you know, to have the business we had. While I enjoyed the nostalgia, I'm beyond that now, I'm ready to move on. Kodak will be offering more jobs here, but I think the real job growth will likely come from other companies coming in utilizing the capability here. At one time, there were 30,000 people manufacturing film. We now have 300 people manufacturing film. There has to be a sense of renewal. Sometimes you have to prune a tree to get it to grow stronger. This is a real exciting change for us. Touch sensors, you see them everywhere, whether it's on a phone, a tablet, just in the airport, wherever. I jumped ship and came over to a food and beverage industry unlike anything I had done before. Food and Bev is, uh, it's, uh, you know, the, the one thing that I like about it the most is people gotta eat. 
it won't be replaced by digital technology. And that I like. <laughs>